Good morning, wavy curlies, or we're hoping it's gonna be a good morning. What would make it a great morning is if this already dry, one-day-old hair turned into decent second-day hair. Then it would be a fabulous morning. So if you haven't watched how I put my hair up like this to sleep at night, then go ahead and click right there and watch my Medusa clipping video, which explains how to put up your short, fine, wavy hair when you have trouble pulling it all the way up and getting it into a ponytail or any other protective styles. So I wash my hair at night generally, and I washed my hair at night um, two nights ago, woke up yesterday morning, scrunched up the little bit of crunch that I had and wore my hair. And, and it was an okay hair day. It was not great, but it wasn't terrible. So that's what we're working with. We're working with pretty average hair. Um, and to be honest, um, I would probably wear my protective bed style because it's not all that bad and it's kind of fun, messy, cute, um, rather than trying to fuss around with second day hair that may or may not go in my favor. Um, I think as a fine haired, lower density wavy, it's a little trickier. You have less hair to conceal the empty spots or the spots that are looking yucky. Just less density shows every little flaw off a little bit more so than if you had thicker, fuller, more voluminous hair. So you're gonna be along for the ride as we discover what's underneath here and how salvageable it is. And I'll get right to it, so. Well, there you go. That's what you get. And it's kind of scary in the back. A little bit like a rat's nest. So from underneath, fluff and ruffle the roots, shake it out. I probably would go upside down a little bit more than I am for video. But keep ruffling at the roots, allowing the hair just to fall back naturally in place. Pat down any excess volume. Try to get the, the volume back into the ends where it tends to separate. Smooth the crown. And maybe flip over a piece or two that seem to be out of place. While I do like volume, I also have to bring down the crazy volume I usually have after sleeping. Trying to bring the whole shape back into kind of a, a balanced state. So what you see here is what happens a lot. That second day hair is better than first day hair. And if first day hair is really great, then eh, you may have already peaked and second day hair may or may not be so great. On the rare occasion, you've got fabulous first day hair that leads into great second and third day hair, but in my experience, it's kind of one or the other. So what happens as a fine haired um, wavy, especially when your hair is shorter and it doesn't have the weight and the length to really pull it down, is that when you take it down from sleeping at night, you'll have a lot of lift, but you'll have this like pull away from your, your neck kind of thing going on. So, so as not to accentuate that, I always take my fingers in, kind of ruffle and drag down and kind of draw my fingers along my scalp down towards my neck a little bit. I don't want to let the top layer get dragged with it. I just kind of want to take the second half and pull that in so it looks normal. <laughs> so it looks like hair would actually hang and not bow out. Um, I do love the volume that I have usually right in the morning, but a few hours later, just based on the density of my hair and the looseness of my curl pattern, um, I don't get to keep that volume. It will often just start to like flatten out a little bit. So, my hair's looking actually, you know, pretty decent today. So I don't have to do a whole lot. What I am gonna do are a couple of my favorite things. And I showed this on the last video. This is the Jane Carter Restore Moisture Mist. And I am um, gonna spray this into my hand. About two sprays. And I'm gonna take the VO5 Shine Glow and Go Beauty Oil. And I'm going to spray one of those into my hands. It wasn't even a full pump. It was like two thirds or three quarters. And I'm going to mix them together. And that's moisture. So the ends of my hair, this stuff looks a little dry. It's not as shiny and light reflective as it is up here where I'm lower porosity and the cuticles more sealed. So I'm going to gently smooth my hair. Now you notice how gently I'm going. I'm not trying to drag my curl out at all. I'm just trying to graze or glaze the top. Um, rope scrunching, scrunching this way and not up so much. I'll do a little bit of that, but with my fine hair that pulls out of the clumps and frizzes really easily, 
I try not to do any more of that than is necessary. And since I'm having some volume at the moment, I don't need to um, run that risk. So two more spritzes of my Jane Carter. One more little half, two thirds spritz of the VO5 oil. And I'm gonna start to, to graze over this, lifting because some of these little in-between sections get a little dry. So underneath and under the lifted section. And then I'm going to graze my hands over the back. I can't really see the back and I haven't even checked it out yet. But um, I'm gonna do that in just a second. So I'm just kind of taking what's on my hands underneath. A little bit, putting my fingers in there and kind of going in between the stuff on the bottom, even if you have a satin pillowcase, is what got rubbed on the pillow. So let me take a look at the back and see what we're dealing with here. Okie doke. So the top needs to be fluffed by the crown so that I don't have these separating areas. And then my worst part is usually right here. And you can see it's a little drier. And you can see some of my ends are a little bit elongated from sleeping because that's going to happen. But I'm going to go in with um, my same two spritzes of the Jane Carter and one or half a spritz of the, um, the VO5. I'm going to separate my hair so that I'm getting to this little puffy halfway down area. So it's almost like this top section of my hair I'm going to take away. So they can focus right here. Yeah, this stuff looks scraggly. And for some people, they may wet this and get it to curl more. I find if I wet it my and, and blow dry or scrunch or air dry, I get such stringy, tiny little clumps that it looks um, more see-through and worse, less scrag and more scraggly. So my best bet is to fluff and add moisture, especially if I'm having a fairly decent hair day on the top layers. So my hair actually was hanging in my face a little bit yesterday and I used some um, air spray by Pantene, um, which doesn't have alcohol, probably has something just as, as harsh as, my, as what I suspect. But I used that up here and it, it hung okay, but having it pulled back at night kind of helped it set where it's out of my face better. And so this is what I've got. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a little bit of short routine and I'll probably do another refresh routine that requires more um, involvement later, but this is a, just a great way to add a little bit of moisture and shine um, to bring back the life to the curls. So hopefully you can tell now it looks a little bit more moisturized than it did when we first started out. So if you have any comments, struggles, interest in videos, let me know. Please subscribe and like this video and I will see you, see you soon, Wavy Curlies, with another hair tips video.